Okay, today's lesson we're starting calculus. And so the first thing we in calculus we're going to look at is the derived function or the derivative. And the process of finding the derivative function is called differentiation. And what the derivative is, is you're actually finding a formula that can find the gradient at any time. So we know in a linear graph, you have the same gradient all the time. So say in a linear, you have the same gradient all the time. But in a quadratic, so remember that the gradient is the steepness. So if you think about a quadratic, the gradient changes all the time at different points. So we can get a rule to find the gradient at any time, and that's called the derivative. And the process of finding that rule or function is called differentiation. Okay, so let's look at ways to find the rule for the gradient. So if k is a constant, so that means like k will be a number like 3 or 2 or whatever, um, and you have x and it's to the power of something, um, we can find the rule, the derivative of that um, this formula, so this f of x, this function, by using this method here. So this symbol here is a, for, a symbolized symbol for the derivative function. So um, the function's represented by um, f of x, and the derivative function is represented by f dash of um, x, like that. And you can find it by the derivative or the rule for the gradient by going k times n. So n would have been the power next to the x and you can times that and then you put x and then you reduce the power by 1. So if you look at this example, find the derivative for this function. So I'm going to write the derivative. Now it's going to be k which is 3 times n. Now n is here is 3 and then I'm going to times x, and I put it x to the power of, now whatever n was, which was 3, 3 minus 1, which is 2. So I can say that this, the derivative function for this formula is 9x squared. Okay? So this was pretty easy when you just have one term in your original formula. But what happens when we have more than one term? So... If you have a look here, if we say our rule is, you know, one term plus another term, then this is how you find the derivative. The derivative be, can be found by just doing that process on each term. So you find the derivative of each term. So if you have a look here, so what they're saying here, that f of x, the original formula, is x5 minus 2x plus 2. So the way we'll find the derivative function is we're going to use that rule on every time. So if you have a look here, I'm going to go 5 times k, which is 1. So I've got 5x and I reduce the power by 1, so it becomes 4. And then I do the same for this. Now this is assumed a little 1 there. So it would be 1 times negative 2, which is negative 2. Now, I would reduce the power by 1. So if I've got 1 minus 1, you'll see that that ends up being um, to x to the power of 0, which is, um, zero is, which is 1. So you can see that the answer for this is going to be 5x4. And because x to the power of 0 is 1, so it's going to be 5x4 minus 2. Now we can't do this 2, this constant, it gets dropped off and it, it becomes, because there's no x to work out, do the derivative. So then this becomes the derivative function of that original rule. So if I had to find the gradient at any time along this line, I could use this rule. So this is the rule to find the gradient um, at any time. Okay, so if I have a look at the next one, so if I'm going to find the derivative function, so f dash of x, I'm going to do it same, so it's going to be 3 times 3, so that's 9, and then I reduce the x power by 1, so it's 9x squared, and then I do it to the next one. 2 times negative 6 
is 12 and I reduce the power by 1 which would be x to the power of 1. So the derivative function for um, this rule is this. Now they've asked me to find f of x which is f dash of x, I've done that. Now they want me to find, this is like they're saying find the gradient because f dash of x means the gradient when x equals 1. So we're going to put x equals 1. So if f dash of 1 will equal 9 times 1 squared minus 12 times 1. So we get um, 9 minus 12 equals negative 3. So at the point when x is 1 on the graph, so say that that graph is like a cubic, so I'm just making this up, so it would have done something like that. At x equals 1, so when you're at x equals 1 or whatever, say there, we know it's a negative gradient. The gradient at that point, whatever, I should have moved it over a bit, is negative 3. Okay, so we saw that you could um, write the derivative as f dash of x. It can also be written in a different way. So when we say denoted, it can also we can also say dy dx. So that's just another way of saying or writing that. So if they ask you so that dy dx equals um, 3x squared. So we know that's the derivative of this. Say if you said y equals, now we know from what we did before, it would have been 3 times x and reduce the power. So we can write it like that. All right. So if we... Um, so if we look at our few examples, so if I went to find dy, this one would be dy to dt because it's not talking about x. So I find the derivative of that, that would be 2t to the power of 1. I don't need to put the power of 1. So this one, if I've got, because x is the formula, this one would be dx dt. So the, and the derivative of this one would be 3t squared plus 1. Because remember, that's a power, so 1 times 1. So if, And then if you've got, so you've got 1 times t, but then you've got to reduce the power. So remember that anything to the power of 0 is 1. So that's how I get that to be 1 here. Okay. Now, for this last one, if y um, dy dx, find dy dx for y equals x plus 2 squared. Well, you need to probably, at this point, we haven't shown you anything else, so you probably need to expand that. So I'll have to write that y equals, and I know my from my patterns, x squared plus 4x plus 4, and therefore dy dx equals 2x plus 4. So you, and then remember that. Okay, if I just go on with some more. So the derivative of 2x to the power of 3 minus 4x with respect to x can also be written as... So sometimes they can say you've like that. So they just put the that in there is the function. And so therefore, um, if you put that in, that's the same as find... It means find the derivative. So here, down here, where we've got find... I need to find the derivative of that. So I might write, um, so if I write d of x of d of equals, and I'll just do, it would be, now it would be 1 times 5, so 5. Now 3 times neg 4, 4 is negative 12x squared. So that would be the derivative of um, that one. And if I did... This one, the derivative of this one, would be 2 times 5, which is 10. Reduce the power by 1. And yeah. Okay, with this next question, at the point x equals 2 on the curve x squared minus 2x minus 1, plus 1, sorry, so that's the f of x there. So that's the formula. They want us to find the y-coordinate and the gradient at that point at x equals 2. So the y-coordinate is quite... Um, quite easy to do because you just sub obviously x in so we're going to find f of 2 so we're just using the normal formula 
minus 2 times 2 plus 1. So we get 4 minus 4 plus 1. So the y coordinate is 1. So we know at the point, so this is a quadratic. So this quadratic looks something like this, whatever. Let's say like that. And at x equals 2, we've got this point. So we've got 2 and 1. That's what we know. Now we want, they want me to also tell you the gradient at that point. So if I need to know the gradient, I'm going to have to get the f of x formula, which would be 2 times x, which is 2x, and then minus 2. So that's the gradient formula. But I want to know what the gradient is when x is 2. So I put that in. It'll be 2 times 2 minus 2. So it ends up being 2. So the gradient at this point... is 2, a positive gradient. So I probably shouldn't have been somewhere else on the graph around there. The y, oops, sorry. Okay, with these next questions, find the coordinates of the point on the curve given by the rule, which has a gradient of 8. So what they're saying is at, at that point, at the point they want, um, they're saying that the f dash of x equals 8. So what we've got to do is we need to um, find a few things. So firstly, let's find the rule. We know dy dx, I'm going to use that instead of f dash of is 2x. And we know when this equals 8 at the point they want. So I can use that to find what x is at the point. So if you solve around like this, so I get that 4 equals x. So now I know that at this point, x is x equals 4. So therefore, I'll use the formula f of 4 to find the y value, which is 4 squared, which equals 16. So the coordinate is 4, 16, so that's the x and that's the y, and the gradient is equal to 8 at this point. Okay, all right, um, here's another question. If z equals 2t minus 1 squared plus t squared, find it, um, dz dt. So you probably need to expand z out. So if you have a look, you'd have to expand that out. So this is perfect square rule. So it'd be 4t minus um, 4t plus 1. And then you've got to times it by the t plus 2. So you expand all them out and you get 4t cubed minus 8t squared um, minus 4 t squared minus 8t plus t plus 2. Okay, and then you simplify that and we end up with 4t cubed plus 4t squared minus 7t plus 2. So now you've got the expanded, now we can get dz dt using this formula so it's going to be 12t squared plus 8t minus 7 okay now with the one underneath we need to simplify this so we can if you have a look factorize the top term over x and when you do that you can see you can cancel them down so y could actually be just written as x plus 3 so if you're writing dy dx this one would just be 1 now that makes sense this is a linear graph so that just looks like that and we know the gradient is the same thing the whole way through and that is 1 okay just this last page you don't need to write these down but it's just showing you how to do it on the calculator so on a normal calculator page if you needed to find the derivative you just go to menu um, then calculus the derivative and it'll bring up this with the open brackets and you just pop in what you need to find the derivative of and it'll give it to you and if we have a check ourselves we can see if we did it ourselves it would be five times 
1, so it'd be 5x and reduce that power, which is 4. Then it'd be 3 times 2, which is negative 6, and reduce that power. And there you go, there's what we got.